Hey, you can never get enough Robert Munch along with pictures by uh, Michael Marchenko. So we've been reading you quite a few different books from Mo Willems, BJ Novak, uh, and of course we've been doing some Robert Munch books, which we'll be doing a lot of those as well as some others. So I hope you're all doing good today. I hope you're outside running in the sunshine, getting some physical activity and reading your high frequency words, getting some comprehension and fluency, numbers and math, all those things make your brain really, really strong, boys and girls. So make sure that you're doing that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you really, really, really soon. All of the teachers are. They miss you so much when I talk to them. Sometimes Mrs. Schindler will cry. She does because she's sweet like that. And uh, other teachers as well, they're all missing you. So we want to get together and become a family again because we are Bishop Bears and, and Sunset Kodiaks too. So anyway, again, give me a shout out on YouTube from at Jennifer Pinto's YouTube channel or Mary Jo Walker's YouTube channel. And then we will honor those shout outs. Uh, today, we want to say hi to the Lockard kids that would be um, Curtis and Sarah's kids. That's Liam. I call him Woody because he reminds me of Woody from uh, the Toy Story movies. And also Isla saying hello to them. And also down in Orange County in Southern California, the Katzemoyer kids, uh, Heather and Michael's kids as well. They've watched a little bit of our YouTube stuff. So let's have some fun with another, another great story. Again, we got the cover, the back of the book, and the spine of the book. Author is uh, Robert Munch along with Michael Marchenko. And this is a story about... Um, a young girl who goes with her brother and sister to go shopping with her dad. How many have been to Tropicana or to Save Mart before to go shopping, get some groceries? Imagine if you did the things that this little girl does in this story called Something Good. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's read it and uh, have a good time. If you want to yell at me while I'm reading, you can do that because I know I'm probably going to yell at you too sometimes. So there's our little character in the story. I wonder what her name is. Maybe it's Alyssa. No, uh, maybe it's Michaela. Uh, maybe she has a strange name like Mary Jo. I'm not sure. So. Here we go. Tyra went shopping with her father and her brother and her sister. By the way, her name is Taya. Okay. She pushed the cart up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle. Taya said... Sometimes my father doesn't buy good food. He gets bread and eggs, milk and cheese and spinach. Nothing any good. He doesn't buy ice cream, cookies, chocolate bars, or ginger ale and soda. I think she likes bad food. She likes junk food. So do I. So Taya very quietly snuck away from her father and got a cart of her own. She pushed it over to the ice cream. Then she put 100 boxes of ice cream into her cart. Taya pushed that cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look! Her father turned around and yelled, Yikes! Taya said, Daddy, good food! Oh no, said her father, this is sugary junk. It will rot your teeth. It will lower your IQ. Put it all back. <gasps> Take a look at that. Look at that. Now, if we had time to count, I wonder if we would count 100 cartons of ice cream. How many do you think you could eat 100 cartons of ice cream? I could do it. Could you? Let's see what Taya does next. So Taya put back the 100 boxes of ice cream. She meant to go right back to her father, but on the way, she had to pass the candy. She put 300 chocolate candy bars into her cart. Taya pushed that cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look! Her father turned around and said, Yikes! Taya said, Daddy, good food! Oh no, said her father, this is sugary junk. Put it all back. So Taya put back all the chocolate bars. Then her father said, okay, Taya, I have had it. You stand here and don't move. She can't move at all. There she is right there. Her dad's saying right here, you stand and you don't move. Taya knew she was in big trouble, so she stood there and didn't move. Some friends came by and said, hello, Taya didn't move. A man ran over her toe with his cart. Ow! 
Guess what? Taya still didn't move. A lady who worked at the store came by and looked at Taya. She looked at her over from the top down, and she looked at her over from the bottom up. She knocked Taya on the head, and Taya still didn't move. The lady said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. It looks almost real. She put a price tag on Taya's nose that said $29.95. Then she picked Taya up and put her on the shelf with all the other dolls. $29.95. A man came along and looked at Taya. He said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. I'm going to get that doll for my son. He picked up Taya by the hair. Taya yelled very loudly, Stop! The man screamed, Yeah, it's alive! And he ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 apples. 500 apples? A lady came along and looked at Taya. She said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. I think I will buy this doll for my daughter. She picked up Taya by the ear. Taya yelled as loudly as she could, stop! The lady screamed, yay, it's alive. And she ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 oranges. 500 apples, now 500 oranges? <sighs> Then Taya's father came along, looking for his daughter. He said, Taya, 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 where are you? Taya, what are you doing on that shelf? Taya said, it's all your fault. You told me not to move and people are trying to buy me. <laughs> oh, come now, said her father. I won't let anybody buy you. He gave Taya a big kiss, Mwah, a big hug. Mwah. Then they went to pay for all the food. There she is crying. The man at the cash register looked at Taya and said, Hey, mister, you can't take that kid out of the store. You have to pay for her. It says so right on her nose, $29.95. Wait, said her father, this is my own kid. I don't have to pay for my own kid. The man said, if it has a price tag, you have to pay for it. I won't pay, said the father. You've got to, said the man. The father said, no. And the man said, yes. The father said, no. And the man said, yes. The father and Andrew and Julie all yelled, no. And then Taya quietly said, Daddy, don't you think I'm worth $29.95? Uh, uh, I mean... Well, of course, you're worth $29.95, said the father. He reached into his wallet, got out the money, paid the man, and took the price tag off Taya's nose. Taya gave her father a big kiss, and a big hug, and then she said, Daddy, you finally bought something good after all. Then her father picked up Taya and gave her a big, long hug and didn't say anything at all. And if you look at the picture right now, you can see them unpacking all of the healthy groceries. But Taya has something very interesting in her hands. It looks like she snuck in a bag of candy. All right. The end. So that's the end of today's story, boys and girls. And again, that was Something Good by Robert Munch. And again, remember, whenever you go to the store, it's okay to have some snacks and sweet things but not 100 cartons of ice cream, 100 candy bars, you know, maybe just five or 10, LOL. Right, take care you guys, see you soon with another book, bye.